Hi friends, welcome to your 20 minute yoga Pilates flow. This is exactly what it sounds like, 20 minutes of yoga and Pilates blended together. So we're gonna have moments of fire, building up some challenge, some heat in the body, and then we'll have moments of some softer movements, opening and expanding, stretching. I think it's gonna be the perfect mix. If you want some music to flow to, I've made a really fun playlist to go along with this class. I've linked it below. Hit play as soon as we're on the mat, and I'll see you soon. Okay, if you have that playlist open on Spotify, let's hit play in three, two, one, go. And can you meet me in a child's pose? We're gonna start there, okay? So come to your hands and your knees and wiggle your knees out a little bit wider than your hips. Bring your big toes to touch and sink your hips back to your heels. Melt your forehead down. Find a little micro bend in your elbows so your shoulder blades can soften down your back body. Good, and we're just gonna land here taking three full breaths. Big inhale, fill up your back body. Big exhale, let your hips get heavy back to your heels. Good, two more breaths at your own pace. Maybe your eyes close and really just check in with how you're feeling right now and check in with that last big breath, inhale. And exhale. Awesome, you got it. Now come all the way up to a tabletop position. Have your wrists under your shoulders, wiggle your knees so they're underneath of your hips. Inhale to drop your belly down, lift your tailbone, lift your chin. And as you exhale, push the floor away, round your spine and look underneath of you. Take two more cat cows. Inhale, belly lowers, gaze goes up. Good, and exhale to round, feel that space between your shoulder blades. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Amazing, come to a neutral tabletop. Wiggle your knees in a little closer to your wrists. Tuck your toes for support and then spin your fingertips back towards your knees. Now this might be enough of a stretch for your wrists and your forearms or you can let your hips get a little heavier back towards your heels, but try to keep the heels of your hands on the mat. Good, we will be on our hands a bit in this class so this will be a lovely stretch. Take one breath. Amazing, and then just sit back on your heels, reach your arms up, give it a little shake out, and come back to your hands, tuck your toes, lift your hips up, reach them all the way back, finding your first downward facing dog. Good, lifting up through your tailbone and maybe start to pedal out the heels, bend one knee then the other, feel that awesome opening through the backs of your legs. But more importantly, focus on the length in your spine. So maybe reach your tailbone a little bit higher. Good, and take one full breath here. Inhale through your nose. Maybe a big sigh out. Awesome, now look forward and step your right foot up and outside of your right hand. Bring your left knee down, untuck your toes, and then open your chest towards your right thigh. A little turn of your chest to the right side. Good, you can push into that right thigh a little bit more as if you're pushing it away from your chest and feel that awesome opening through the front of that left hip. Big breath here, inhale and exhale. Awesome, and then bring your right hand all the way back down, tuck your left toes, lift your left knee back up, and then try to step your right foot back and lift your hips up and back for a downward facing dog once again. Let your head go, shake it out, and take one intentional breath in and out. Beautiful, now gaze forward and step your left foot up and outside of your left hand. Bring your right knee down, untuck the right toes, and then open your chest to the left side. Good, so right hand is staying on the mat and left hand can press just a little bit into your left thigh. Good, big opening through the front of the right hip and you'll feel that outer edge of that left glute as well. Yeah, breathe some space into it, okay? Inhale and exhale. Good, and then bring your left hand back down. Good, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee up, and this time step your right foot up to the top of the mat. Forward fold, bring your feet right underneath of your hips, and let your upper body drape heavy over top of your legs. Shake out your head, wiggle out your shoulders. 
Inhale for a halfway lift, hands come to your shins and lengthen out through your spine. Exhale, fold, release everything down. Inhale to stand all the way up, reach up, gaze goes up. Exhale, hinge from your hips forward, fold, melt it down. Halfway lift as you breathe in, good, find that length in your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step it back, and find your first plank. Good, but I'm actually gonna get you to bring it down to the knees, okay? So untuck the toes. Your knees are behind your hips. So can you feel this diagonal line from your shoulders to your hips to your knees? And then wiggle your knees out so they're right in line with your hips. Can you feel a little bit more stability here? Press into the tops of your feet, hug your rib cage in. We're gonna tap right hand to left shoulder and then bring it down. Left hand to right shoulder, bring it down. Then you bend your elbows and press back up. Ready? A little quicker, tap, down, tap, down, lower, and push. That's it, go tap, down, tap, down, lower, and press. Nice, now if it feels like too much, you can always move the knees right under the hips, and this is gonna lighten the load big time, okay? Down, push up, that's it, go tap, tap, lower, press one more, feeling this into the shoulders, the core, and the triceps, nice. Now lower down halfway, hold. Try and hold, slide your shoulder blades down your back body for five, whew, four, three, two, one, and push up. Wiggle your knees in and quickly come onto your bum. Bring your feet out in front of you. Reach forward, round your spine. I'm gonna turn this music up, oh yeah. And roll all the way down to your back. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Keep your feet grounded. Big inhale. As you exhale, I want you to lift and twist to the right side. So lift your right leg up to a tabletop. Chest is opening to the right side. And then lower everything down. Exhale, lift up through center. Lower down. Good, exhale, lift and twist to the left side, left leg lifts to tabletop, and then lower everything down. Little quicker, go center and lower, twist right and down. Lift center and lower, twist left and down. Good, now we're gonna pair the breath with the movement. You exhale every time you lift. Go shh, breathe in, shh, breathe in, that's it, exhale. Inhale, and it's like an audible shush breath, like you're telling me to be quiet. If you're like, what the heck is that shush breath? Just feel it out, try and go for it. Exhale, inhale, shh, breathe in, that's it, shh, and inhale. Yeah, when you find that shush breath, friends, you're really starting to engage those deeper layers of your core. Your transverse abdominal is gonna naturally contract, and it's gonna support you through this movement. Stay with me for 10. We're here for nine. Awesome job, it's eight. You've got seven. Can you give me six? Let your head be heavy in your hands, it's five. We're here for four, three, two, one. Now lift your chest up at center, hold. Inhale, exhale, lift your legs up to a tabletop position. Glue your heels together, knees out to a diamond shape, toes out, okay? We're gonna press the legs out, squeeze the inner thighs, bend the knees back in towards your elbows. Press it out, and then slowly bend it back in. If this is too much, do it with head and shoulders down on the mat, and arms can press down as well. Otherwise, head and shoulders might be lifted, and then bend the knees out wide. Good, squeeze the inner thighs as you reach, and then bend, draw it in. Can you give me three more? Exhale, and inhale. Go shh, and then breathe in, lengthen through your low back. One more, exhale, bend it back in, and lower head and shoulders down. Hug your knees into your chest, little rock side to side. Good, full breath in, and a full breath out. Yeah, hold on behind your knees and start to rock forward and back along your spine. Keep a little C-shaped curve of your spine to protect your back, and then come all the way forward and through to a tabletop position. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, tuck the toes, lift your hips up, reach them back, downward facing dog. Hmm, take a moment here. 
Can you notice the strength and the heat that you just built up in your core? Yeah, now we're gonna take a little bit of time to open and expand other areas of our body. Full breath in and a full breath out. Good, send your gaze forward and start to walk your feet up to meet your hands. Forward fold Uttanasana at the top of the mat. Upper body is hanging heavy. Yeah, now look at your feet and heel toe your feet together. So at least your big toes are touching, maybe a little space between your heels. Start to bend your knees, sink your hips down and back. Reach your arms forward, lift your chest. Utkatasana, chair pose. So imagine your bum is just hovering on a chair back and behind you. Hug your low belly in. Now take a big breath in. Exhale, prayer hands are gonna come through in front of your chest. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, twist to the right side. Lower your left elbow down on top or outside of your right thigh. Good, look down at your knees. Make sure they're staying in line and the left knee isn't moving in front of the right. And then slide your right shoulder blade down your back body. Take a full breath in. Good. And a full breath out. You got this. Now try to keep your twist. Lift your left heel up so you feel heavy in the right foot. Are you ready? Step your left leg back. Ooh. Try and land that twisted lunge. Good. That left knee can always come down. Okay. One breath. Inhale. And exhale. Yeah, now bring your chest through to center, reach your arms up, get nice and tall, back heel is lifted, high lunge, full breath in. And as you exhale, drop your left heel down, arms open out nice and wide, warrior two, good, Virabhadrasana two. Keep a bend into your right knee, gazes forward, one full breath, inhale, and exhale. Awesome, bring your hands down to frame your front foot. Step your right foot back to meet your left, landing in a high plank, or you can be down on the knees, and lower chaturanga. So hug your elbows close to your side body as you lower. Inhale to lift your chest, maybe a little bit, or maybe a lot of it in an upward facing dog. Exhale, send the hips up, reach them back, downward facing dog. Good, one breath, inhale. And exhale. And look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Forward fold at the top of the mat to let your head drop heavy. Good, and then bring your feet closer together. We're coming into Utkatasana round two. Bend your knees, sink your hips down, reach the arms forward, lift your chest. Here we are, sinking those hips down and back. Full inhale. Exhale, prayer hands right in front of your chest. Good, hold the depth of your squat, breathe in. And exhale, twist to the left side, lower your right elbow down on top or outside of your left thigh. Push between the palms, slide your left shoulder away from your ear. Big breath in and a big breath out. Good, now lift your right heel up, feel heavy in that left leg, keep the twist. You got this, step your right leg back and lend that twisted lunge, that right knee can always come down. One breath here, inhale and exhale. Yeah, now bring your chest through to center, reach the arms up, lift the chest, high lunge, crescent warrior, full breath in. Exhale, drop your right heel down, arms open out wide. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Make sure your left knee is right in line with your big toe and your second toe. Full breath in and full breath out. Awesome, now listen carefully. Straighten through your left leg, arms reach up. Bring the left toes in so they're parallel to the right. Now your heels come in and your toes turn out to 45 degrees. Bend your knees, come on down to a wide leg squat. Yes, we're gonna target the inner thighs a little bit. Hands can be in a prayer gesture right in front of your chest. Just start with a pulse, down, 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 up, down, up. Trying to target your knees open and back and behind you, okay? So keeping that length through the inner thighs, but building up the strength at the same time as we pulse. <laughs> pulse, good, 10. We're here for a nine, maybe the arms go out. Eight, palms flip open, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stand up, reach up, inhale, and exhale, arms melt down. Good, turn to face the front of the mat. Bring your hands down to frame your front foot and just step back, come down onto your knees. Quick transition onto your back, okay? All the way down, all the way down. 
Here we go. Back body is heavy, arms down alongside your body. Lift your hips up and hold. Yeah, just feel it out for a moment. It's kind of like a bridge pose, but we're definitely gonna target the glutes a little bit more and the hamstrings. So if you feel any pressure in your low back right away, I want you to drop the hips just half an inch and then really think about reaching your knees forward and feeling this strong diagonal line from your knees to your hips to your shoulders. We lower the hips, head down, lift, lower, lift, down and up, lower, squeeze. Now I don't know if you're listening to the music, to the playlist that I made for this class, but it's got a lot of new Rufus Dassault on it and it's so good. Maybe turn it up a little bit. Have fun with your movement today. Yeah, music and movement, there's nothing like it. Down, lift, keep going, lower, squeeze, into your booty, it's 10, maybe reach the arms up, nine, you've got eight, good, seven, it's six, then keep the hips up, five, hold it up in four, three, two, keep it lifted, open the knees one inch, bring it back in line, lower halfway, lift, open out, back in line, lower down halfway, lift it up, good. Open the knees, back in line, lower, lift, that's it. Little open, in, lower, lift, you're here for 10. You've got it, nine, squeeze, eight, hug your rib cage in, seven, we're here for six. That's it, it's five. Can you give me four, three, two, one, now lower all the way down, hold on behind your knees, quickly rock on up, up to a standing position, back into that wide leg squat, heels in, toes turn out, whoo, that was quick, ready, arms out, palms flip open, pulse it out, down, 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 up, down, up, if you want more, if you wanna get the heart rate up, here we go, arms are gonna open, cactus, close, Cactus, close as you pulse. Pulse, yes, nice. Beautiful job. Eight, first seven, first six, Whew. it's five, four, three, two, one. Stand up, reach up, and bring your toes back in line. Hands to the hips, forward fold, Whew. all the way down. And take a moment to pause. Maybe bend one knee and the other, like swaying your upper body side to side might feel nice. Big inhale. Big exhale. Good, stay here as you are for one more breath. Let your upper body land at center. Press into your fingertips so you can lift your torso halfway. Bring your right fingertips or your right palm at center and inhale, reach the left arm up and open, find a twist to the left side, but try to keep your left hip down in line with the right. Good, one big breath. And left hand is gonna come down to replace the right. Use your inhale, right arm reaches up and open. Nice rotation through the spine. Openness through the inner thighs and hips. One more breath. And right hand comes all the way back down. Walk your hands towards the front of the mat. Spin your right toes forward. And then just step your right foot back. Bring your knees on down. Sit back on your heels. Roll your shoulders up towards your ears. And back down your spine. Good. Take a seat and bring your legs right out in front of you. Create a diamond shape. So the bottoms of your feet are touching, knees open out nice and wide. Hold on to your ankles or your shins. Inhale to lift up tall spine and exhale, hinge forward. Good, and once you reach the point where your spine wants to round and your head wants to drop, just let it be exactly that. Let it be passive, not a lot of force here. You might even reach your arms underneath of your legs and have the palms of your hands flip open. Two more big breaths. And use your next inhale to come all the way back up. 
Good, and then maybe take a crisscross leg seat. Yeah, inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, easy twist to the left side. Left hand can be behind you, right hand can be on your left knee. And inhale all the way back up through center. Exhale over to the right side. Right hand behind you, left hand on your right knee. And let's take one more breath in to reach the arms up, gaze forward, and exhale, melt your hands down. Yeah, that's it, we did it. Uh, so fun to move with you. I'm so happy you joined me today. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I can't wait to see you next time.